Last one I really want to touch on is a guy who actually didn't make the world juniors for team Canada, Seth Jarvis, Carolina hurricanes prospect. Wow. He had an incredible season last year in the WHL and this year he's the top scorer in the AHL, which it's really cool to see. So, so what's with him? Well, you know, Seth Jarvis, he's one of those players where, you know, he doesn't have a ton of size, but he makes an impact almost every shift mm-hmm. because he is so talented and, you know, he can produce so much. And I think the thing that's really interesting right now um, you know, Seth Jarvis, obviously in the AHL playing for the Chicago Wolves. And the interesting thing there is that Carolina and Nashville are kind of sharing the Wolves as an affiliate. We, we're seeing this with a couple of teams because not every AHL team decided to play through the pandemic. Um, but that Wolves team is so exciting right now because you essentially have a double cohort of young stars. So not only do you have Seth Jarvis, but you also have Phil Tomasino mm-hmm. on that team, uh, who obviously uh, made some contributions to Canada at the World Juniors. And you got a number of young Carolina players. You got some Nashville kids. Um, that's just a really fun team to watch. Obviously, they can sort of pile up the points. But Seth Jarvis, you know, at his young age, is already distinguishing himself. And again, you know, 15 years ago, a player of Jarvis's size probably would have been if not ignored, then certainly, you know, he would have been in, available in like the fourth or fifth round. Now, obviously, teams are seeing that, you know, size is really not an issue in the mm-hmm. NHL if you can play at pace. And, you know, Seth Jarvis is, is certainly a player that, you know, we've seen in the dub, put up a ton of points uh, with the Portland Winter Hawks. And the fact that he's gotten up to such a great start in the AHL, again, it just bodes well for him playing against men in the future. And again, you know, I think you made a very good point. You never want to rush these kids. Um, But this is a very exciting year in the AHL because of the delay to the OHL and WHL seasons. Um, Just last night, I was talking to Nelson Emerson, the director of player personnel for the Los Angeles Kings uh, for a magazine story on Arthur Kaliev. And, you know, we were talking about the Ontario Reign where, where LA, uh, you know, has their AHL affiliate, you know, right now they've got Kaliev, who was great for Team USA at the World Juniors. They've got Quinton Byfield, you know, they've got Tyler Madden, um, you know, Alex Turcott, I think is hurt right now, uh, but Sean Dursey is there. Like there's so many great young players, Akeel Thomas is there. Mm-hmm. And, you know, for him, for Emerson, he was saying, you know, this is great because these young guys are learning the pro lifestyle and getting great competition. So they're, they're not living with billets. They're living on their own, you know, a lot of them for the first time and they're getting this great competition where they can see where they're at. And I I think, you know, that obviously goes for Seth Jarvis. It goes for Jamie Drysdale. It goes for a number of players that are having that experience right now. 